Alright everyone, today's video is going to be about MK Ultra. This video is going to be a PSA about a project um, I feel has quite enough evidence to prove that it never ended. So this is going to be a video called PSA MK Ultra Never Ended. I'm going to read a couple articles on it. One is going to be from a Princeton University something or other. It's going to be an article that was mostly taken from the Wikipedia page, which I don't agree with, but whether it's accurate or not, it still raises some questions, um, and that's what this PSA is going to be about. Then I'm going to read an article from Dark Matter, um, from the Science Question Everything, and the reason I chose that one was because I question everything so I felt it's an appropriate theme and it doesn't um, it, it, it's very accurate I would say because um, the nature of dark matter and the science channel is to question everything so it's it, it should be right on point um, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, read that for you Project MK Ultra, or MK hyphen Ultra, was the codename for a covert illegal CIA human research program run by the Office of Scientific Intelligence. This official U.S. government program began in the early 1950s, continuing at least through the late 1960s, and it used U.S. and Canadian citizens as its test subjects. The published evidence indicates that Project MK Ultra involved the Use of many methodologies to manipulate individual mental states and alter brain functions, including the surreptitious administration of drugs and other chemicals, sensory deprivation, isolation, and verbal and sexual abuse. Project MKUltra was the first brought to wide public attention in 1975 by the U.S. Con Congress through the investigations by the Church Committee and by, the, and by a presidential commission known as Rockefeller Commission which I'm sure I'll make videos in the future about. Investigative efforts were hampered by the fact that CIA Director Richard Helms ordered all MK Ultra files destroyed in 1973. The Church Committee and Rockefeller Commission investigate investigations relied on the sworn testimony of direct participants and on the relatively small number of documents that survived Helms' destruction order. In 1977, a F OIA request uncovered a cache of 20,000 documents relating to Project MKUltra, which led to the Senate hearing of 1977. In recent times, most information regarding MKUltra has been officially declassified, which I imagine is a good thing. Although the CIA insists that MKUltra type experiments have been abandoned, 14 year CIA veteran Victor Marchetti has stated in various interviews that the CIA routinely conducts disinformation campaigns that the CIA mind control research continued, which it has, and I'm going to explain the many and various reasons, I'm sure, in the future, at some point. In a 1977 interview, Shetty specifically called the CIA a claim that MKUltra was banned in a cover story. On the Senate floor in 1977, Senator Ted Kennedy said, the deputy director of the CIA revealed that over 30 universities and institutions were involved in an extensive testing and experimentation program which included covert drug tests and unwitting citizens and all social levels high and low, Native Americans and foreign. Ugh. Several of these tests involved the administration of LSD and unwitting subjects in social situations. At least one death that of that of Dr. Olson, Frank Olson, resulted from these activities. The agency itself acknowledged that these tests were made little scientific sense. The, ag the agents doing the monitoring were not qualified scientific observers. Contest, contents, title, and origins, goals, budget, experiments, drugs, LSD, other drugs, hypnoses, Canadian experiments, revelation, U.S. General Accounting Office Report, Deaths, Legal Issues Involving Informed Consent, Extent of Extent of Participation, 
notable subjects, conspiracy theories, see also references for the reading, external links, full article. This article content is a page f came from Wikipedia and is governed by CCBYSA. And that is MK Ultra of the Princeton.edu. Project MK Ultra Science Channel. Question everything. The CIA's program of research and behavioral modification. Wednesday, August 3, 1977. U.S. State Senate Select Committee on Intelligence and Subcommittee on Health and Scientific Research of the Committee on Human Resources. Following is an excerpt of an opening statement from Senator Edward Kennedy, D. Massachusetts. Kennedy or Senate, thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. We're delighted to join together in this very important area of the public inquiry and public interest. Some two years ago, the Senate Health Subcommittee heard shilling testimony about the human experimentation activities of the Central Intelligence Agency. The Deputy Director of the CIA revealed that 30 universities and institutions were involved in extensive testing and experimentation program which include covert drug tests and unwitting citizens at all social levels, high and low Native Americans and foreign. Several of these tests involved the administration of LSD, unwitting subjects in social situations. At least one death that Dr. Frank Olson resulted from these activities, the agency itself acknowledged that these tests were made in little scientific sense. The agents doing the monitoring were not qualified scientists, scientific observers. The test subjects were seldom accessible beyond the first hours of the test. In a number of instances, the test subject became ill for hours or days, and effective follow-up was impossible. Other experiments were qual equally offensive. For example, heroin addicts were enticed into participating in LSD experiments in order to get reward heroin. Perhaps most disturbing of all the fact that the extent of the experimentation on human subjects was unknown. The record of these activities was destroyed in January 1973. The instruction of the CIA Director Richard Helms, in spite of persistent inquiries by both the Health Subcommittee and the Intelligence Committee, no additional records or information were forthcoming, and no one two single individual could be found who remembered the details. Not the Director of the CIA who ordered the documents destroyed, not the official responsible for the program, nor any of its associates. We believe the record incomplete as it was, was as complete as it was going to be. The one individual, through a freedom of information request, accomplished what two U.S. Senate committees could not. He spread the agency behind first additional records pertaining to the CIA's program of experimentation with human subjects. These two records were discovered by the agency in March. Their cons existence was not made known to the Congress until July. Records revealed a far more extensive series of experimentations, experiments than had previously been thought. 86 universities or institutions were involved. Any V instances where ethical behavior were revealed. The intelligent community of this nation were, in, were required, which requires a shroud of secrecy in order to operate as a very sacred trust from the American people. CIA's program of human experimentation of the 50s and 60s violated that trust. It was violated again on the day the bulk of the agency's records were destroyed in 1973, as it violated each time a responsible official refuses to collect the details of the program. The best safeguard against abuse in the future is a complete public account of the abuse of the past. I think this is illustrated, as Chairman Inouye pointed out. These are issues, are questions that happened in the 50s and 60s. You go back some 15 to 20 years ago. But there are front page news today, as we see in the major newspapers and on television and in the media in this country. And the reason we, they are, I think, is because it is continuously begin to trickle out, sort of, month after month, and begin the best way to put this period behind us. Obviously, it is to have the full information, and I think that the desire of the Admiral Turner and of the member of this committee. 
The CIA drugged American citizens without their knowledge or consent. It used university facilities and personnel without their knowledge. It funded leading researchers, often without their knowledge. These institutions, these individuals, have a right to know who they are and how and when they are be and how they are, were used. As of today, the agency itself refused to declassify the names of those institutions and individuals quite appropriately, I might say, with regard to the individuals under the Privacy Act. It seems to me that the fundamentally responsible to notify those individuals and institutions rather, I think, where many of them were caught up in the unwitting manner to do research for the agency. Many researchers, distinguished researchers, some of our most outstanding members of our scientific community involved in this network, now really do not know whether they are involved or not. And it seems that me and the whole health and climate in terms of our university and other scientific and health facilities are entitled to that response. So I intend to do all I can to pursue the agency to, at the very least, officially inform those institutions and the individuals involved. Two years ago, when these abusers were first revealed, I introduced legislation with Senator Schweiker and Senator Javits designed to minimize the potential or any similar abuse in the future. That legislation expanded the jurisdiction of the National Committee of Human Subjects of Biomedical and Behavioral Research to cover all federally funded research involving human subjects. The research, uh, research initially was directed toward HUE activities, AGW, but this legislation covered Department of Defense as well as CIA. This nation has a biomedical behavioral research capability second to none, and it had for the subjects of few funded research, funded research for the past three years, a system for the protection of human subjects of biomedical and behavioral research second to none, as the Human Experimentation Committee has proven its value. Today's hearing and the research, today's hearing and the record already established underscore the need to expand its jurisdiction. The Central Intelligence Agency supported that legislation in 1975, and it's passed the Senate unanimously last year. I believe that it needs to order to assure all the people that they will have the degree of protection in human experiments that they deserve and have every right to expect. Exactly, which is why they're putting all this crap in our water and fluoride and, and, and all this junk that just you know, shouldn't be around us. I mean, they let the masses control people, they or influence them at least. I can't say that they control people. You know, some people are less influenced than others, but they're still controlled at some point matter. And you also have fluoride which is at least supposed to induce submissive behavior. Um it makes people sick. I mean the government formed an experiment th uh, through health agencies years ago that encouraged people to have low fat and look where everyone, where, where everyone is now. Now everything is low fat and everyone is fat. It's just really unhealthy and fat's probably the most healthiest thing on the planet. It's there to protect us. And so I don't want to go too far into this but that was my project mk ultra reading i hope that gave you some insight into an illegal project that never ended cheryl ford um uncovered this and ordered the cia to put it away and destroy all documents so that the government would not be held ex or most of the responsible parts of government wouldn't be held responsible um, if you're not held responsible, you shouldn't be held responsible, that kind of thing. But it is government, and it is a problem, and it's growing. And luckily, we have a public that is slightly more aware and less submissive to the government. But in all things, there still is crap in our water, and it, it it's making people stupid. So... Um, you know, that was one of the reasons that I decided to post this PSA today. So, thank you for watching, and that was Project MK Ultra has never ended. See ya.